plus uh, welcome back uh, now we're going to discuss uh, limitations of the cost accounting so after understanding the advantages of the cost accounting in the last class we discussed the advantages of the cost accounting to the management to the employees to the uh, society and to the creditors so now though there is a lot of advantages with this uh, cost accounting system but still many people feel that there is a some disadvantages and some people say that this is a unnecessary accounting system which is uh, going to be normal protein and it uh, consumes a lot of money so this is what they say let's understand one by one but they say number one it is very expensive when you have already a cost of the financial accounting system in the um, company why you want to have a one more accounting system called cost accounting especially exclusively for cost so it's unnecessary it's expensive that's what uh, many of the industrialists says that and also some of them says that it is a normal routine forms filling and preparing a statement is normal routine is nothing new uh, along with the cost of financial accounting you want to run one more book and you prepare uh, forms fill the forms to ask the employees to fill the form in a from the ground level to top level you fill the data provide the uh, fill the sheets forms and send that to the dip separate department and that department will again going to gather that prepare a statement sending the report to the management so it's a normal routine that there's nothing new in it and also some people says that um, this is a failure in a cost accounting system which cannot provide a rightful data to the management some people say that and even some some of the critics they say that it is not applicable the cost accounting system cannot be applicable to the all industry is only applicable to those industry in those who are operating at large uh, large companies can operate uh, can adopt this kind of system and even so a few critics says that it is not reliable the data is provided or going to gather in the company it is not going to be a real one or uh, the data is going to get is not going to be uh, dependable uh, to take a decision and uh, this is all the some of the limitations of the cost accounting and after the understanding the cost limitation of the cost accounting other than this there are many uh, merits when we can uh, uh, get from the cost accounting system and many companies are enjoying the uh, more profit by reducing the cost so cost accounting is going to help the organization to understand the the cost controlling the cost minimizing the cost and go for maximizing the profitability so now after understanding the merits and demerits of the cost accounting let's understand why we need to have a cost accounting system when we have already a financial accounting system why we need to go for a system called a cost accounting system because there is some limitations in the financial accounting financial accounting cannot provide all the data which is required by the management to take the proper decision at the right time Uh, whenever it is required and the main objective of any organization is to maximize the profit and by minimizing the cost so cost data is not always available in the financial accounting in financial accounting we have the information related to financial period that is previous year uh, what are the expenditure incurred by the organization okay that can be seen but we can't go deep into it and to identify where we are spending necessarily or unnecessarily we can't classify that at the same time what is the cost of the product what is the cost of the activity it cannot be identified in the financial accounting so let's go through those aspects what are the limitations of financial accounting so number one as i already mentioned this there, there is no classified information in the cost accounting so unclassified information are available in the financial accounting so that leads to going to have for new a system for cost accounting then the data which is available in the financial accounting is limited to historical data historical information so the data which is available in financial accounting as you know financial accounting is related to a particular period financial year so financial year means previous year in the in the tax terms so the data is available for the last 12 months so that data will not going to help us to in the real time to take decisions for the management so that is why we need to have a new system called cost accounting system and after the, uh, along with that 
there uh, another one uh, another uh, disadvantages or limitations we have in financial accounting that is disclosing of profit or loss as a whole of the organization so the company's data uh, especially we we want management want to know which is uh, which department because the company works uh, functions in a department wise so we need to know which uh, department is making profit or when the company having two to three pro um, products we need to know which product is making a profit so if you want to uh, compare i want to know which profit which sorry, each product is making a profit then we need to know the data about the each individual product so profit or loss information is required that data is not available in the financial accounting financial accounting we we are going to know whether the company is earning a profit as a whole or not. We are going to look into that. In the cost accounting, we are going to look into the each and every activity whether we are earning a profit or not. So there is a uh, limitation in the financial accounting. Along with that, the lack of effective material control. There is a proper material control system in the financial accounting. So we, know we won't give much preferences for managing the inventory. In the financial accounting, but in the case of cost accounting, when you adopt this cost accounting, we're going to have the more scope for inventory control. And uh, on, on another important point is no scientific uh, system of cost classification. As I already mentioned, there is no classific, uh, uh, scientific method of classifying the cost. Okay, whether it is controllable cost, uncontrollable cost, okay, abnormal, uh, sorry, no, uh, normal cost, abnormal cost, like that, we're going to classify the cost in a various way, like we got to have a, around 6 to 7 methods we're going to follow to classify the cost, we're going to discuss in the upcoming classes. Uh, even there is a, uh, there is no analysis of wages, so wages we cannot be classified again, and we won't, uh, we won't analyze whether this is a or not, so along with that, lack of development system of evaluation, and yeah, since the cost accounting fails to uh, help the management to fix the price of the product and at the same time it, there is no scope for comparison uh, for the one product or another product uh, profitability or loss at the same time it fails to uh, help the management to reduce the cost it also the system financial account system also fails to uh, uh, provide the information related to tender preparing a tender and quotation so these are the limitations which helps the uh, sorry, which is not uh, going to help uh, for the management to have a uh, data uh, and take decisions. So, for financial accounting, there is a failure in the financial accounting system to provide a data which serves the management in proper way. So, that is why there is a new system called cost accounting, which helps the management to have a proper decision making. So, uh, in this class, we are going to discuss uh, the merits and the, sorry, uh, differentiation between the cost accounting and financial accounting system. Uh, for cost accounting and management accounting system. Uh, see you in the next class. Thank you.